so, did the earth move last night in bed for me with my Filipina? Or perhaps it was the seven earthquakes that happened last night, 7.7 .7 on the Richter scale. Yep, it happened in Mindanao last night around 10.30 in the evening. To be honest with you, I was asleep. Didn't hear, didn't feel anything. And it didn't really affect us in Western Mindanao. I think it came quite bad in Davao, Davao City, General Santos, that area. The earthquakes, as a rule, don't really reach uh, the western part of Mindanao. Sometimes you can feel a slight shaking. I never have since I've uh, been here. Always before an earthquake's going to happen, you'll get a text, an automatic text, telling you there's an earthquake about to happen. Be careful. It gives you instructions on what to do if you're by the beach because there's always a possibility of a tsunami. I can't even say the word this early in the morning. Tsunami. Um, so, you know, you come to the Philippines and I did a video the other day, I think it said five bad things about uh, the Philippines. I forgot about earthquakes and um, typhoons. But luckily, like I said, where we are, even the typhoons, we tend to miss the worst part. We get the tail end. Mindanao's quite lucky in terms of the typhoons. Um, the earthquake, I think apparently the aftershock, some of it could be felt as far as Japan. So 7.7 .7 is pretty strong. So you've got to be mindful when you come to the Philippines. I'm not saying it will happen, but it, there's a possibility that, that you could be caught in the middle of an earthquake because they do happen regularly here. It's not something I dwell on because it doesn't happen every day or every other day. And like I said, I've never felt a damn thing. So really, here in the Philippines, you get typhoons during the rainy season and you get earthquakes. They're the things that I'm aware of. Again, it depends where you're going to live in the Philippines. <clears throat> but just take precautions if there is an oncoming um, earthquake. For your own safety. Well, I think it's good that you get automatic texts that tell you. Um, even when there's going to be heavy rain here, I guess um, typhoon rain, even though we, we only get the tail end, I get an automatic text as well. They're like warning texts basically, which is a good thing. Miraculously, nothing happened with the power. In fact, there was a brownout last night about one in the morning for about two minutes, so it wasn't really anything to do with the earthquake. I think they'd scheduled some, some changing of a fuse somewhere. So yeah, <clears throat> these are things to consider if you're gonna live here and where you're gonna live. One of my viewers said I hold the camera too close, which is probably true. But the tripod I'm I'm using at the moment is the only tripod I've ever had. And the rubber that grips the phone is loose. So there's a likelihood, if I'm not careful, the phone will drop on the floor. So excuse me if the camera's too close. But apart from, <laughs> apart from earthquakes, 
and I suppose if you're living in the wrong areas in a hilly region there must be mudslides and apart from typhoons it's pretty pretty cool here no seriously there shouldn't be anything to worry about unless you're really in a bad area that's known for either bad um, typhoons or earthquakes enjoy yourself don't worry in terms of getting sick here I don't mean heart problems or kidney problems or things like that I'm talking about having a cold I don't know if they have flu here I suppose they must do because flu is worldwide but it's normally during the rainy season that people contract things like a bad cold and a cough or chest infections so even out here in the tropical climates you get the same as back home but probably less and don't forget here you don't have the cold weather to kill the germs in the air and the only other thing um, to point out you get loads of mosquitoes here that's not particularly anything people wouldn't know however you do get um, the malaria um, mosquito I forgot the word for a minute the dengue mosquito and that's the one to watch out for I haven't a clue what's what my wife knows the difference in the province here I'm always being bitten always being bitten I've said this before in a previous um, video when I take the dog for a walk now I wear tra tracksuit bottoms and socks and my sneakers stroke trainers that minimizes if I'm unlucky they go for my arm but the sneaky thing about most not all but most uh, mosquitoes are they're low flying they're not going to risk dying trying to get you on your face though they can do they tend to go for your ankles and your lower legs or even your upper legs they're sneaky little buggers they are we always have fly spray you can get Johnson water-based fly spray if you don't like the chemicals in the regular fly spray we have those tennis racket things that electrocute um, flies spiders and especially mosquitoes but you know what and we've even got a blue ray thing that you plug in that kills mosquitoes and we still get them what they do here is um, we do it sometimes not all the time is early evening they start to come and early morning uh, they light a little not fire but like a, an egg carton not a plastic egg carton and you burn it so it smoulders the smoke that wards off um, mosquitoes and you can buy that thing from the department stores supermarkets where you burn the coil and it lets off like a smoke smoldering that again wards off any mosquitoes but no matter how careful we have the door open both the doors the side door and the front door open all day long I think if we were living in a city on top of the highway probably not but here it doesn't matter you know and of course it's a magnet for mosquitoes and other lovely things but once again don't be weary of earthquakes yeah if you're in the wrong place at the wrong time can it kill you of course an earthquake can kill you but you're more than likely probably going to win the lottery maybe not I don't know I in the UK we don't have earthquakes as such I think we've had minor ones in the past we don't have typhoons we have hurricanes I think we call them hurricanes um, in the Western Hemisphere 
and in 1987 we had a bad one but apart from that I've not experienced truly bad weather so it's a first for me I don't feel threatened I don't feel worried nor should you the video today was going to be a different video but I deleted it accidentally so when um, the earthquake happened I thought ah I can do a quick video on that it's maybe not the most interesting video I've ever made but still take care everyone over and out